Hey guys, today we're gonna be making a shiny button hover effect. So it's gonna look something like this. So we're gonna have a button and once we hover over, we're gonna have shining animation from left to right, as you see here. But we're also gonna have shining around the whole button here. So if we go back here, we're only gonna need a single anchor link. We're gonna do a, a trap, and we can just add hashtag slash because this is not gonna go anywhere. And then here we're just gonna write shiny button, and that's all the HTML we're gonna have. Then I need to link my CSS. So let's go back to our styles. And the first thing we wanna do is remove some basic styles. So we wanna add box sizing or border box, remove margin and padding. And we're gonna add a font family of sans serif. Then under that, we're gonna target our body. We're gonna add min height of 100 VH. And we're also gonna add a background here. It's gonna be some type of purple background, purple blue. And we're gonna add display flex. Then we can target that anchor link. We're gonna add margin auto, center it first. Then we need text declaration none to remove the underline. We're gonna add a color of white. And we're also gonna add a border, which is gonna be some type of purple color. So one pixel solid. And we're gonna do 9294F8. We're gonna increase the font size to 25 pixels. We're gonna add padding, 16 pixels for top and bottom, and 46 for left and right. And we're also going to make it position relative here. Then we're going to target the hover here. So A on hover. And for the hover, we're only going to add a box shadow here, which is going to be 1 pixel, 1, 25, 10. And we're going to add RGBA. So it's going to be 146, 148, 248, and 0 0.4. We save that and we hover. You're gonna see that around the button, but now we're gonna add this part that comes through the button or inside the button. So if we scroll under the hover, we can target our anchor link again, but now we're gonna do before. Then when we use before, we need to add a content. So this is just gonna be an empty string. We're gonna make it position absolute. Top is going to be zero and left is going to be minus 100%. And we're also going to make it full width and full height. So width 100 and height 100% as well. And then for our background, we're going to add linear gradient here. And we can switch this into a new line because we're going to have a few of these. So firstly, we're going to add 120 degrees. Then we're going to have transparent first. So transparent. And here we're gonna add RGBA, which is gonna be 146, 148. So the same one as we have here, so 248 and 0.4. And then under that, we're also gonna add transparent for the last one. So you can already see how that looks like here. Then under that, we're gonna add a bit of transition. So we're gonna do all. 650 milliseconds and then under that we're gonna target a again so our anchor link on hover and then we want to target before that we just made and here as you can see we have left as at minus 100 percent so it puts it here but in our case we want to reset that to 100 percent so now if we hover you can see that effect and then the only thing left is we need to hide this so we can't see it on the side here. So to do that, we can scroll back here. So under position relative, we can just add overflow of hidden. And if we save that, now once we hover the button, we're going to have that shining animation inside of it, which is coming from this before. And also this box shadow that we have around button is just this line right here. So that would be it for this final project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.